almost like Lyles yesterday, a little sight adjustment on the first hitter. Then he's throwing the ball really well, you know, and um, the fifth inning just kind of sped up a little bit, a couple hits, but I, I was happy with the way he threw the ball. Uh, I think they were I agree. I think the pitch data looked right, but the naming of the pitches looked a little bit off. Good. We had swings and misses on it, both both right-handed and left-handed hitters. <laughs> yeah. No. Definitely. The guys, in a good way, joked about it. You know, we were able to score a run. You know, that, so took a little bit of the pressure off. Um, obviously, tying the game was nice too at the time, but. You know, these guys can swing the bat. Ollie is, you know, we've seen Ollie swing the bat all spring, and the guys that were here last year saw him swing the bat too. So we're we're all right there. You got a couple of home runs and a double too. It kind of feel like maybe it's starting to move forward. Yeah, I mean, you know, you hope that it's it's momentum, but you know, tomorrow will be a brand new day. You know, and just because you don't get runs one day doesn't mean you can't the next, and vice versa. So these guys are working hard. The mood was good. The work before the game was good. So I'm, it's not something to be concerned with. The top of the lineup in particular seems to be having some trouble. Is there anything you can spot there? Well, I know Joe Ryan's tough. Um, and for years, you know, he was a minor leaguer in the Tampa system. And it's not easy to pinpoint why, but he gets people out. And he's, he gets him out with his fastball, he gets him out with his breaking ball and his split. So he's tough, and that's a big part of the reason I think those guys struggled today. Just with, with those four guys at the top, um, how tough is it to, to get things going when they're maybe not as productive? Yeah, sure. I mean, if those guys are on base, it's easier to score runs. Um, Salvi swung the bat well. Um, you know, I, I don't think – yeah, that's that's a – that's an easy one to say. I mean, if they're on, we're going to have a better chance to score. What's the conversation or the philosophy for a guy like Coleman or Garrett when they come out, finish off that frame, to bring them back out? What's the conversation? Yeah, what's the coaching staff or a, a philosophy as far as once they come out of the bullpen amped up, finish off that frame, the decision to send them back out? Yeah, well, I mean, we're, we're also managing for 12 straight games. Garrett had Gallo leading off the next inning. Um, that's a good spot in the order for him. Um, same with Coleman, one out. You know, they're going to need to be able to wrap around like that and get two, three outs the next inning as well. So we didn't discuss that in particular with them like before they did it, but that's kind of understood. I mean, in, in, in the certain spots in the order and the, the situation of the game, they're, every, all the pitchers are going to have to do that.